want to talk to you about the traditional rack mount server. This is a 2U rack mount server and we're going to configure this as an ESX host. So every ESX host consumes five or six things. It consumes network ports, it consumes SAN storage ports, it consumes space, this is, consumes two units of rack space, it consumes power, and it consumes time, time for provisioning and management. It also consumes money, but we'll get into that later. Let's first talk about how we design the network for an ESX host. I'm going to connect two ports into the network, one gigabit each, for my service console. So this is for the management of this ESX host. These should be separated out and managed for best practices of security. This is a quad port NIC, and this is also a quad port NIC, so now I have six network ports left in this 2U server. The next two ports I'm going to connect are going to be for maybe vMotion and if I'm using fault tolerance I'll, I might put fault tolerance on those NICs as well. I'm going to load balance those and I'm going to trunk those to the network and present those VLANs to the host for fault tolerance and vMotion. I'm going to take the remaining four NICs load balance those and use those for VM network traffic. I'm also going to trunk each of those ports in my switches and present the proper VLANs up for virtual machine network traffic. So on all eight network cards, two for service console, two for vMotion fault tolerance, and four for virtual machine traffic. And this could be configured in different ways, but this is a good standard number. I'm also going to take two single port fiber channel HBAs, connect one to each storage fabric. It's going to be about four gigs of throughput for storage. It's pretty standard. There's eight gig fiber channel HBAs out now. You could use those as well. I'm also going to connect two power cables from my redundant power supplies up to my PDUs. And finally, I'm going to connect one last cable that I'm going to use as an out-of-band management port for this host, like an HP Insight Lights Out board. Now, a lot of things to think about here. We've connected eight NICs, two HBAs, an ILO, two power. That's 13 cables. This is a 2U server. 21 of those in a rack, if you could fit 21 in a rack, a 42U rack, would be 273 cables. So while this is okay at small scale, at large scale, you can imagine this is extremely complex. At small scale, let's just say to configure one host for time, it takes about four hours, give or take, depending, you're going to have to talk to your network team, you're going to have to talk to your storage team. Um, probably some things you're going to need to do um, as far as configuring the operating system and just plugging it into the rack. So it just takes time, multiply that out at scale, not extremely efficient. As far as dollars go, every, let's say every six servers, you're going to have to buy new network switches. Every 20 or so servers, ESX hosts, you're going to have to buy new SAN switches. Obviously, you're going to have to buy the hosts themselves. Let's say this host costs about $12,000 depending on how much RAM. So you can see for every server you buy, you also have to buy network, you also have to buy storage. So a lot of costs in here, pretty simple linear model. I think the real problem with this model is space, space consumption, and the amount of time to provision. 21 hosts, that would take a lot of time. So a great model works for VMware. You've got lots of ports, which is really nice. You probably can put lots of memory in this host. But as far as space and time go, not the best solution. Um, it could be cheaper dollar-wise, too, if we could come up with a more efficient solution. 